Jets. It's not too late because we still have the Monday Nighter. Very interesting spot here. Hate seeing that the Cowboys are 3 and 0 at home. That means I've lost 3 times betting against them, but they are 0 and 4 on the road, which allows me to pump my fist. This is too big of a spread. I want to fade the Cowboys as I always do. I know the Titans aren't to be trusted, but when Donnie and I broke this game down on Tuesday, it really felt like they were just giving too many points. It opened Cowboys minus four, then they were minus six and a halfs, which I should have hammered immediately. Now it's mostly five and a halfs on the board. The total opened up at 42 and a half. It was all over the market. The market was all over the place on Tuesday. Now it's 40 and a halfs and 40s. The Cowboys tend or at least lately have been able to put points up on the board at home that feels a little too low it feels frighteningly low one of those situations where you could be right all game and the game could still end up going over because of a late score we have both these teams fresh coming off of buys whale capper what are you thinking here on the big monday nighter titans at cowboys yeah too many points for uh, the cowboys to be laying to any team uh I, this is not a team that is going to you know, the the one outlier game of their whole season was that weird one against the Jaguars uh, where they would have covered, you know, whatever spread they would have opened. Uh, but uh, I think you're going to see a much more competitive performance out of the Titans than we saw out of the Jaguars that day. Uh, Marcus Mariota, is he's got to be feeling some pressure. They have got to get him going. I feel like the way that the game were, played out against the um, uh, the Chargers if even though it was a loss, I feel like that was a confidence boosting moment for the Titans as a unit. And as for that offense, especially uh, the fact that they were able to get, you know, sustain those drives late in the game and get that touchdown when they absolutely had to, uh, you know, even though they didn't convert that two point conversion that would have won them the game. I think that was a nice confidence building moment for this offense, which has looked lost at times this season. Uh, and I think they're going to be able to get it done uh, and probably, you know, compete for a win here. Uh, it's, you know, Dallas may win, uh, but I don't see any world where, uh, you know, they should have opened this one as, as high a favorite as they did. I took the Titans in the points. Um, and I think this is, you know, at worst, I think this is a Cowboys three point win. Uh, and so I'm happy being outside of a field goal in this one. Yeah, I agree with that, that breakdown quite a bit. Do you feel like whale capper that this total, do you have any feelings on it? It's gone down two and a half points at some book. I think the over is probably in play at this point because it's moved a little too much. I kind of liked where they opened it. Uh, it agreed a little bit with where I think this is going to end up in the 23-20 uh, kind of range. You could see 24-20. Uh, you could see 24-21. I mean, these are all scores that would take it over the current total. And I think, uh, you know, there's there's a tendency to expect, you know, both offenses to look horrible in this one. And, but I think you have some nice matchups with, the way each defense has particular holes that they're going to be able to find ways to get, you know, get, get some scores. Even if they're just field goals, you're still going to be live in that total. I agree. I agree. I think this is too low now. Jaden TV says I'm betting Cowboys money line. Boys win 27, 21. That would go way over. And then Jim Bean says Titans 17 boys, 15. So the Titans backers would cash, but it would go way under Donnie right side, the Monday nighter, two teams off buys Titans at Cowboys. Yeah, two teams rested here. I think the, each one of these teams had outlier games. The Jacksonville Jaguars game where Dallas completely put away at home, and then you had the 21 nothing loss to the Baltimore Ravens. If you take out both of those games on each side, who's going to run away in this football game? I mean, is it going to be another one of those we're going to score 40 points for the Dallas Cowboys? You've seen enough Dallas Cowboys football. Yes, they added Amari Cooper, and they have time to get him in, but we're, we're not talking about adding Randy Moss here and having Joe Montana throw him the football. This is still the Dallas Cowboys offense, which is pretty unimaginative, as you've seen with the press clipping saying, hey, Amari, you guys got any cool plays that we might be able to use on the Dallas side of the football? This isn't going to be a great football game from either side, but you do like and have a little bit more as well. Capper's right. You put the ball on the one-yard line. If they would have handed the football off the Tennessee Titans, punched that football, and you might have a <laughs> completely different perspective on this game if they knocked the Chargers off, had a couple weeks to get ready with a more healthy Marcus Mariota where he now sheds the glove and looks like that whole issue with his throwing hand being a little bit numb is completely out the window. Neither one of these teams are going to run away in the football game. Why not just take the points here with the Titans? I absolutely agree. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free 
for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.